Today we'll be going through IGCSC Mathematics Paper 1 Core 058013 October November 2016. Question number 1. Write in figures the number 5034. So 5034 at the 100th position will be 0. So we can write 5034. Work out this one. This is question number 2. So We'll combine these negative numbers, so it will be minus 10 plus this will be 7, so this will be equal to minus 3. So our uh, calculation will be minus 3. Even we can use calculator for this, like minus 2 plus 7 and minus 8, and this will result into minus 3. Now v is equal to 4p square. Find v when p is equal to 3. We'll have to replace values. So v is equal to 4 into 3 squared which is equal to this will be 9 9 to 4 will be 36 so answer will be 36 for this one you can use calculator also so simplify these two values in indices questions when bases are same and they are being multiplied their powers will be added so this will be equal to n raised to 2 plus 5 which is equal to n raised to the power 7. So our final answer will be n raised to the power 7. Question number 5. The mass m kilogram of a car is 948 uh, kilogram. Correct to the nearest kilogram. Complete the statement between the values of m. So we will have to write upper bound and lower bound. Upper bound of uh, 948 and also the lower bound of 948 and correct to the nearest kilogram so 0 0.5 plus minus this will be we have to uh, do for that one upper bound and lower bound so 948.5948.5 will be upper bound and 947.5 will be lower bound this one 0 0.5 we have added for upper bound subtracted for this one so lower bound will be on this side 947.5 and upper bound will be on this side keep in mind that if you switch these values they will not give you two marks then you will be losing one mark so you take care of this one this lower value should be on lower side bigger value will be on the bigger side right in standard form this is the number and in standard form, we need decimal after first non-zero number. So we require decimal after two. And if we consider decimal over here, we have to shift this decimal after two. So we'll have to take one, two, three, four, five, six jumps. So six jumps to the left will be multiplied by 10 raised to the power positive six. And if we are jumping to the right, it will be negative power. So our answer will be 2.47 into 10 raised to the power 6. And this one also, now we have to jump to the right and after 7. So we require 7.9 and this will be 1, 2, 3 jumps and 3 jumps to the right mean 10 raised to the minus 3. So this will be 7.9 into 10 raised to the minus 3. This will be final answer for question number 6b part. Now, question number seven, write these uh, in order. Basically, this is uh, uh, arranging numbers in ascending order. So we can take help of calculator 0 0.6 raised to the power three. We will convert everything into decimal and then we'll compare. So this will be 0 0.216. So we can write 0 0.216 this one. And then the second number is already in decimal 0 0.22. And next number is root of 0 0.09, which is equal to 0 0.3. And the last number is 0 0.4 and squared will be equal to 0 0.16. Now we can easily compare. This one is the smallest number, which we can write first. It will be 0 0.4 squared. And next number will be 0 0.22, which is this one. So 0 0.22, we can uh, 0 
6 cube, basically this one, 2, 1. This is 2, 2, this is 2, 1. So this one will be for 0 0.216 and then we will write 0 0.22 and this is the largest number, 0 0.3. Uh, not 0 0.3, we'll have to write like a root of uh, 0 0.09. We'll have to write this these given numbers. Hopefully you understood this. Then question number eight. In question number eight, they are saying James in, is an animal doctor. The table shows some information about the cats he saw in one week. So these are number of cats. These are the mean mass of a cat. And this data is provided on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. One of the cats James saw had a mass of four kg. Uh, on which day did he saw this cat? So 4 kg mass. 4 kg mass is on which date? We'll have to check that. For this one we can check if you multiply 2 into uh, 1.9, 2 into 1.9, this will be resulting to 2 into 1.9 will be resulting to 3.8. So both combined mass of both cats is 3.8, which is less than 4. This is impossible on Monday. Now we can check for Tuesday 4 into 0 0.9. And this will be equal to 4 into 0 0.9. 4 into 0 0.9 will be equal to 3.6. So this will be 3.6, which is also impossible. Then 1 into 2.1, 1, 1 into 2.1 is equal to 2.1. This is also impossible. And 3 into 1.8 will be equal to 3 into 1.8 will be equal to 5.4. So 4, this is more than 4. So this is possible. And for uh, Friday, it is 2 into 2, which is equal to 4. And if one cat is 4 kg, the other one will be 0 kg, which is not possible. So this is also not possible. So only Thursday is the possible answer. If we check from here, this is the calculation which I have made. So if we multiply these numbers, we will check this is the only Thursday. Thursday when if we multiply this 3 with 1.8 we get more than five, 4 so this is the uh, possible uh, day Thursday we can write answer and one more thing I just want to mention over here we, here in question 7 we have written 0 0.216 instead of this one we'll have to give the original number which is 0 0.6 raised per 3 and this is what we can write over here. So this is done. Question number 7 and 8 are done. Now we can move to question number 9. A graph is provided which is a distance and time graph. Over here is time in minutes. Then they are saying the diagram shows the distance time graph for the first 65 minutes of a bicycle uh, journey. There are four different parts of the journey labeled A, B, C, D. So these are four parts, A, B, C, and D. Ride on the part of journey with the fastest speed. Fastest speed will be the portion of the graph which is having the highest gradient. So gradient we can check slope. This is uh, highest slope bigger than this one this is lesser slope this is zero slope this is also lesser so highest slope is for this section which is a so we can write here answer as a after the first 65 minutes the bicycle travels at a constant speed of 20 km per hour for 15 minutes draw this part of the journey on the diagram so we have to draw this part of the journey. So we can figure out from here, it is starting from here and it will be reaching in this section. They are saying 65 minutes. For after this 65, this is 
up to 65 this one is 65 so beyond 65 mm, travels at a constant speed of 20 km per hour for 15 minutes so in 15 minutes in 15 minutes it will be covering four portion of this because this is in one kilometer 20 hours so fourth portion time will be five kilometers so 20 divided by 20 divided by four we can write five so five kilometer distance will be covered in 15 minutes so 15 minutes this each one is uh, five minutes so five five and five so up to this one is 15 minute and distance covered is five kilometers so this will be one two three four and five kilometers so we got this point we'll have to join these two points to get the graph and we can join these two points like this one over here so we can join these two points this will be our uh, required graph which we have plotted this one so this this part is already done now we can move to the next question number 10 without using a calculator work out 3 by 5 plus 1 by 6 so this fraction we have to calculate write down all the steps of your working and give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form so we can equalize the uh, denominators 3 by 5 plus 1 over 6 so we can multiply and divide both sides by this side by 6 and this side by 5 so this will be 18 divided by um, 30 plus this will be 5 divided by 30 and this will be equal to uh, 15 so 13 over 30 this will be 18 and 5 mm. So this will be plus sign, so it will be 23 by 30, not 13 by 30. So answer will be 23 by 30. This will be our final answer. Then triangles A, B, C, A, B, C, this one, and D, E, and F are similar. Find the value of X. So if we check this side is, uh, uh, this side is equal to this side, basically, and 30 is changing to 12 or 12 is changing to 30 so 12 and divided by 30 will be equal to how much this will be the k factor so this will be the ratio which we we can check for the similar triangles and this will be 12 divided by 30 will be equal to 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 now if we divide 16 by 0 0.4 so 16 divided by 0 0.4 will get the value of x and 16 16 divided by 0 0.4 will give us 40 so our answer will be 40 over here hopefully you understood this question number 12 change 0 0.183 meters to centimeters now how we are changing the simplest method is 0 0.8 0 0.183 this is in meters and we have to change into centimeters so each meter one meter is equal to 100 centimeters and we can change this meter into centimeters so it will be multiplied by 100 now it is centimeters and meter is gone now we can multiply 0 0.183 0 0.183 multiply by 100 and this will be resulting to 18.3 uh, so answer will be this will be equal to 18.3 and we can write here 18.3 this will be in centimeters now change 12,800 square millimeters to square centimeters so 1 to 8 0, 0 square millimeters we can write millimeter uh, mm into mm so millimeter into millimeter and each uh, millimeter to convert millimeters into centimeters will be dividing by 10 so this will be divided by 10 no this is not millimeter this is centimeter and this one also we have to change so this will be divided by 10 and this will be now centimeter so this will be divided by 100 so one two both zeros will be cancelled 
and this will be equal to 128 centimeters centimeter into centimeter will be centimeter square so answer will be 128 this is also done now next question number 13 here are the heights in centimeters of eight people right in the mode mode will be most occurring so most occurring is uh, uh, we can check 172 and 172 two times repeating rest of everything is one time so it will be 172 will be the mode mode means most occurring and median means middle value so middle value for middle value we have to arrange the numbers first in ascending order or even descending order you can arrange but i will be arranging them in ascending order so the smallest number is 153 so i will write here 153 this is done the next number is uh, this one is done so 158 we can write this number also so next number is 158 and next number will be 161 this one so we can write here 161 and next number will be 164 164 then next number will be 168 so 168 is also done then next number will be 172 and 172 two times 172 and 172 this is done this is also done and last number will be 175 so we can write 175 now there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 numbers and we can take the middle two middle two will be these two numbers so we will be adding them 164 plus 168 and dividing it by two this will be equal to median so if numbers are even we are adding the middle two numbers and dividing it by two and if numbers are odd we are just taking the middle number so 164 plus 168 and divided by 2 will be equal to 166 so our answer will be equal to 166 over here write 3 by 5 as decimal so 3 by 5 directly we can use calculator 3 by 5 will be 3 divided by 5 is equal to this one and press this button 0 0.6 so this is equal to 0 0.6 will be our answer the next is write 48 percent as fraction in simplest form so 48 percent in simplest form so 48 divided by 100 will be equal to 12 over 25 so this is equal to 12 over 25 answer will be 12 over 25 this is done now next question number 15 the exchange rate between the dollar and the Thai baht is this one so we can check from here that baht is a lighter currency and dollar is heavy currency so uh, Andy buys a watch in New York for 84 dollars how much is in baht so this will be multiplied by 84 so 84 dollars multiply by 31.48 and this will be equal to 84 multiplied by 31.48 and this will resulting to 2644 2644.32 and this will be how much is this in baht so it will be 2644.32 this will be our answer then b part ning buys a watch in bangkok for this many baht how much is in this dollar so this will be divided by uh, 4200 will be divided by 31.48 and this will be equal to 4000 200 is divided by 31.48 and this will be equal to 133.41 133.41 1, and next number is 8 so we are rounding it to um, like rounding like up to two decimal places so minus 4.42 4 
So this will be 133.42 will be our final answer. Now question number 16, a bag contains three red balls, five blue balls and four green counters. Uh, three red, five blue and four green counters. A counter is picked at random. Work out the probability that the counter is blue. So blue are five, so five out of total. Total are eight plus four, 12. So it will be five over 12 will be for this one. It's one mark question. Just you'll have to mention the probability and yellow. There is no yellow in this one. So it will be zero for yellow and the probability of picking a brown counter from another bag is 0 0.35 work out the probability of not picking a brown counter it will be one minus whenever they are saying like for example uh, not picking so this probability maximum probability can be one so this will be subtracted from one so one minus 0 0.35 and this will be equal to 0 0.65 but we can check the one minus 0 0.35 is equal to 0 0.65 so we can write here 0 0.65 our answer will be 0 0.65 over here this is done now question number 17 the table shows the opening hours of a doctor's surgery these are days and this is opening hours they have provided on sunday it is closed so work out the total number of hours the surgery is um, open during a week. So we can check for this. Uh, all are from 9 to 14. Basically this is different. So we can check from 14. So we will be using calculator 14 hours minus this will be 9 hours. So this will be 5 hours for this one. 5 hours. So we can write here 5 hours. This will also be same time. So 5 hours. And this is also 5 hours. Now we can check for this one which is 16.30. So 16 hours 30 minutes. And minus 9. So hours will be equal to 7 hours. This will be 7 hours and 30 minutes. Like this we can write. And this will be how much? 18.30 so 18 hours and 30 minutes minus 9 and this will be 9 hours basically 9 hours time and this will be 9 hours 30 minutes so this will be 9 hours and 30 minutes and the last one we can calculate this is 12 hours and 30 minutes minus this will be 8 hours and 30 minutes and answer will be 4 hours and 4 hours basically. So we can add now they are saying uh, work out the total number of hours the surgery is open during the week. So we'll have to just add this 5 hours plus 5 hours this one done this one done then 7 hours 30 minutes. So plus 7 hours and 30 minutes and this is also done then plus 5 hours plus 5 hours this is done then plus 9 hours and 30 minutes 30 minutes and plus 4 hours plus 4 hours so we have taken this value as well as this value and this is equal to 36 hours so this total is 36 hours so we can mention our answer over here as 36 hours hopefully you are understanding each and everything we have done time calculation everything with the calculator because it is allowed so you can use this so work out this so we'll have to just add them so it will be 5 and minus 3 and this will be minus 1 plus 2 and we can simplify this will be and uh, this will be five. this will be 2 and this one will be 1 so 2 and 1 this will be our answer uh, we are adding basically respective uh, terms only so a is the point which is this one and b is the having coordinates this one work out a b so a b we can work out and we know this will be uh, b is this one so 10 minus 6 10 minus 6 and 5 minus 3 
this will be what we will be doing so 5 x value is 5 x2 minus x1 so 5 minus 3 and the second value will be 10 minus 4 and we can write in column vector and this is equal to 2 and 6 uh, 2 and this will be uh, basically this will be 10 and not 4 10 is 6 so this will be 6 so 4 will be here and this will be our answer we can write here 2 and 4 this will be our final answer then c is the point with the coordinates this one and cd is this given 1 and 2 find the coordinates of the point d so now we can write this as like uh, x c d c d will be uh, d minus c so for example we can write x minus 5 and the other one will be y and uh, plus this will be y value for example for d we can consider d point as x and y coordinates and c d will be this is d so c d will be x minus 5 and this will be y minus 8 so y minus 8 we can write like this and this is equal to 1 and 2 now we can check x minus 5 is equal to y so x minus 5 is equal to y means uh, x will be equal to 6 and y will be equal to 10 if x is equal to 6 y is equal to 10 then we can get this so x is equal to 6 y is equal to 10 otherwise you can directly 5 plus 1 you can do and 8 plus 2 you can do and this will be getting 6 and 10 because this is one mark question so this one i have done for your explanation and if you want direct answer then you can write 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 and 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 whatever i have done is for your explanation how we reach to 6 and 10 now question number 19 the shaded shape is made by joining a square and a rhombus so this one is square and this is rhombus diagram is not to scale work out the perimeter of the uh, shaded shape perimeter of the shaded shape we have to calculate so in this case all the sides are 5 5 5 and 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 5 multiplied by 6 is equal to 30 so perimeter will be equal to 30 uh, centimeters this is 30 centimeters over here centimeters are already written also so b part the area of the shaded shape area of shaded shape also we have to calculate and for area of shaded shape we can find area of this side first which is uh, 5 into 5 this will be 5 into 5 for the square which is 25 and we can check for the other side also 4.5 into 5 will be equal to 22.5 and plus uh, 25 will be equal to 47.5 so this will be how we will be calculating 5.5 5 into 5 will be this one and for rhombus we will be writing 5 into 4.5 now directly we can calculate this so we will write this one in bracket and plus the other one 5 into 4.5 which is this so perpendicular height and bracket close and we will get answer 47.5 so this is equal to 47.5 and answer will be over here 47.5 this is done now question number 20 a part diagram is not to scale these two sides are equal in abc triangle triangle abc is isosceles triangle with ab is equal to ab is equal to bc these two sides are equal their opposite angles will also be same these two sides are same their opposite angles will also be same so find the angle a c and b so this will be uh, 180 minus this for example this is x this is x so this will be 180 minus 44 will be equal to 2x and this will be equal to 180 minus 44 180 minus 44 will be equal to 136 and 
x will be equal to 136 divided by 2. This will be equal to 68 and the answer will be 68 over here. Now B part, a regular polygon has an exterior angle of uh, 40 degree, exterior angle of 40 degree. Work out the number of sides of the polygon. So number of sides we have to calculate. So exterior angle, we can calculate um, 360 divided by, basically we can do 360 divided by uh, 40 will be equal to 9 side and this will be equal this will be answer will be 9 sides or we can miss in from interior angle also we can take so exterior angle is 40 interior angle will be equal to 180 minus 40 which is equal to 140 degrees and we know the formula um, 180 into n minus 2 is equal to 140 so this one also is another route which we can take but the simpler route is this one hopefully you will take this route now 21 the diagram shows an equilateral triangle the diagram draw uh, on the diagram draw all the lines of symmetry so lines of symmetry we have to draw on this drawing so one line of symmetry we can draw like this one second line of symmetry uh, roughly we can draw like this and third line of symmetry will be passing from here so these are the three lines of symmetry which we have drawn in this case and in the space below draw an equilateral um, uh, a quadrilateral that has two lines of symmetry and rotational symmetry of uh, order uh, 2 so ro rotational symmetry of order 2 uh, so and quadrilateral having quadrilateral mean having four sides that has two lines of symmetry and rotational symmetry of order 2 so if we draw a rectangle like for example this one if we draw a rectangle like this um, this one will be like this one so it will be having two lines of symmetry like for example this line of symmetry and this line of symmetry so two lines of symmetry and rotational symmetry also two so one side this one and one side this one so it will be having two uh, this will be second so two uh, rotational symmetry of order two and uh, line also symmetry of uh, two lines of symmetry write in the mathematical name of uh, your uh, quadrilateral so it will be a rectangle so we can write here a rectangle and we can take basically rhombus also rhombus is also having the same properties similar properties sir. So next is question number 22. A circle has radius of 6.4 centimeter. Work out the circumference of the circle. And we know circumference of the circle is equal to 2 pi r. And in this one, we can replace value. So c is equal to 2 pi into r will be 6.4. And this will be equal to, we can find this 2 and pi into 6.4 and this will be resulting to 40.212 so 40.21 40.21 so answer will be 40.21 or 40.2 the circle forms the top of a cylinder of height 12 height is 12 and this one work out the volume of the cylinder so volume of the cylinder is pi r square and um, the, the base area multiplied by height so pi r squared and multiplied by h so this will be equal to volume 
and this will be equal to pi into r um, is 6.4 squared into h will be 12 so we can calculate this calculation so we can write here so pi multiplied by 6.4 squared multiplied by 12 and this will be resulting to 1544 1544 this will be centimeter cube so 1544 there is basically 0.155 also so we can write here approximately 1544 now question number 23 which is printed over here is simultaneous equations and the coefficients are not equal for x and y so we can multiply this equation by 2 and this equation second equation by 5 and this will be equation 1 this will be our equation 1 this will be equation 2 and we can write equation 1 implies this will be 10x plus uh, 10x plus 8y is equal to 30, 17 to the 34 and 5 will be multiplied so it will be 10x minus 15y is equal to 80 16 5 is 80 and now we can subtract and this sign change and this will be cancelled and this will be 23y is equal to 34 34 minus 80 will be equal to minus 46 and y is equal to minus 46 over 23 which is equal to minus 2 so y value we got we can write over here is minus 2 and the remaining is x value so this value minus 2 will be replacing any of these two original equations always replace values in original equation so I'll, I'm replacing an equation 2 so 2x so equation 2 implies 2x minus 3 into y which is minus 2 is equal to 16 so this will be plus 6 so 2x plus 6 is equal to 16 and this will be 2x is equal to 16 minus 6 which is equal to 10 and 2x is equal to 10 so divide both sides by 2 this will be cancelled and this will be equal to 5 so our x value will be equal to 5 we found x and y values we are done with the paper hopefully you understood each and everything and don't forget to subscribe maths tv i'll be waiting for your comments and also press bell icon so that you will be getting notification for incoming videos also introduce this channel to your respective teachers and recommend this channel to your friends and class fellows share this video thank you very much for watching take care